good morning happy Saturday I just started this fun project and I'm popping on just like I always do just at a spur of the moment um, in the middle of having fun so I am Callie from Callie's Redesigns good morning again happy Saturday uh, let me know when you're hopping on and say hi let me know where you're from I am, it's a little bit chilly here this morning. I'm in Crete, Illinois. I'm about 30 minutes south of Chicago. And yeah, it's a gorgeous morning to just get out the paintbrushes and start having fun. So um, you're not gonna see me on camera this morning. I have a few things to get done and then, and enjoy painting. And then we are off to a busy day. So, good morning, good morning. Hi, Bobana. Hi, Chris. Hi, uh, everybody. How are you? Okay, so this is a dresser that I am working on. It is going to be heading to the East Coast. So I have to get it done. I've been working on it, working on it, what I've done. If you look really closely you may see um, some really cool texture that I've added to the drawers uh, that was done with salt wash and the rest of the dresser at this point has been uh, sealed with our wise owl stain eliminating primer I used clear so um, clear is a fantastic way to get started when you're not absolutely sure which direction um, you're going to be taking this. Um, it is going to be inspired by uh, Redesign with Prima, our Peacock Dream Transfer, and the Avian Sanctuary Transfer. You may have seen I used it the other day on a table. So I figured we had something fun going on with these colors. Here's the colors that I'm using. Okay, so we have iron oxide in the top left corner. And then over to your right, we have Siren Song. Then, it's kind of hard to tell in this light. These are chalk synthesis paints by Wise All. Then right here is Poseidon. And then we have Black Cherry. So a real gorgeous gourmet of colors, right? Loving this. So let's get started, and this is what we are going for. Going for this look. Okay, I just started playing and it happened really quick and fun. I don't know how well the lighting is for you. It's kind of, it's okay, it's not too bad. But we're going to do this other drawer over here. All right, so I will try to give you the best possible view and just show you how we do this. And then I'll decide how much I like it, whether I don't like it. I think I'm gonna like it. I think with transfers on it, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. All right, so I'm just gonna bring my drawer out a little bit. Okay, say hi when you hop on. Um, I have three brushes. I just grabbed my Klingons and uh, we are going to get started. So I have um, my four colors and my brushes. I'm trying to give you the best possible view. I'm gonna start with our Poseidon and I'm just going to um, I'm just going to start adding it to my textured surface. Now as you, there, now you can see the texture, right? There we go. Okay, now can you see the texture? 
Hello, Melissa. Good morning. Hi, Susan. So I'm just going to have some fun with blending today. And there's several different ways of blending. And this is, uh, this worked so quickly and so easily. So I'm going for this, this blending method today. So I'm literally just throwing on the paint and creating a really cool look. Of course, once it dries, it's going to, um, it's just gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be really cool. Just get excited. Hi, Pam. Um, the next chair, the next color I'm using is cherry, black cherry. And I'm just doing a swirly application, just basically, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera too. I'm just putting it on kind of like in a color black style. And then I just blend those two colors in together. All right, I'm gonna now add this gorgeous, my brushes have all four colors on them, by the way. Um, I am going to add Siren Song now. I know this looks maybe a little bit crazy or maybe a little bit fun. It might not be for everybody, but the look is kind of going to be really nice, especially for the rest of the plan. All right, so my next color, I'm gonna add some of our iron oxide. Iron oxide is our rusty color. Hey, Diane, good morning. I did not know that everybody would be hopping on and um, that's awesome, thank you. I always love it when you guys are watching and I like to just hop on here as I'm doing something fun. So you see, I'm just blending, I have three brushes and I'm just blending all of these colors together. And because the surface is textured, the magic happens, I feel, a lot faster. Okay, so when you're blending like this, you wanna make sure that your paint is staying wet during the whole process. I keep giving you different views so that you can see more of what I'm doing. Okay, all right, so so far I've used, well, I've used all three colors already. Well, that's cool. All right, a little more Poseidon. I'm gonna come over here into this corner. The main color of this dresser is Poseidon. So Poseidon is our uh, deep greenish blue. It's like the very bottom of the ocean. It's as dark as it gets without being a black blue. It is so easy, Pam, and you make it look easy too. So that's the truth. All right, I'm gonna throw on, again, I just didn't wanna hop on the camera today, but I do wanna give you a, a fun tutorial. So, so as long as you don't mind bouncing around, it's gonna be a fun tutorial. All right, Black Cherry. Now I love how the black cherry, as soon as I apply black cherry over this Poseidon, it becomes this amazing purple tone. Isn't that pretty? And if you're just hopping on, the inspiration for this piece is peacock inspired. My customer um, 
loves, well, actually purchased a couple nightstands from me a couple weeks ago. And the nightstands and this dresser are going to, uh, they're going to complement each other. And they're going to be heading off, heading off to Washington. So that's kind of exciting. Um, so that's how it's looking so far. Got this one little corner over here. Got to bring that in. Wish I had a better view for everybody. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more of the iron oxide. And because it had some black cherry already on the brush, look at how pretty that turned out. Now, what I want is I don't want blotchy looks, okay? So I want to blend them all together without getting like a muddy look. So if you start having too much paint on your brush, then you could very easily see how the paint that I have on this brush right now, it's kind of cool in itself. If you remove that, at least a little bit, then come back, and then you can create a much better blend. And because I have texture, the colors that are on the very tip of my brush are going to grab onto those little nubs and um, textures, and then that creates another look in itself. I'm going to see if there are any questions. Again, this might not, this might be a little scary. Um, something maybe you wouldn't do to furniture, but trust me, once it all comes together, um, this is going to, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. Uh, you just hopped on. Um, for the texture, Angela, what I use all the time is I use salt wash. Salt wash is a paint texture that you add to your paint. And so I'm using Wise Owl Chalk Synthesis Paint today. And I use the salt wash. I add it to my surface um, oftentimes before, yeah, most likely, before I am going to start painting and I allow that to dry and to the exact texture surface that I want. Okay, so you see how this is working out? Let's do another one. I really wish I could give you a better view, but like I said, guys, I'm not gonna be on camera today not not ready I'm having too much fun painting outside and I have about an hour to play that's all I have all right so now you have the view of this drawer and I'm gonna move down here when you're gonna see how quick and easy the transformation happens once again okay so I'm just gonna be repeating the same process first color Wise Owl Poseidon. I pull my drawers out so that I can get the paint onto the edges where I want them. This already has one coat of paint. Um, this color that I used as a base um, is our gray linen. And it may look a little bit white in the lighting right now. When I'm looking on the camera, it seems to be looking a little white, but it's gray linen. So it's got a little bit of a uh, warm, but light gray. It's a very pretty color. All right, so that is Poseidon.
The reason I'm doing like a swirly motion is so that I am getting all of that texture um, covered. If you just did brush strokes um, from side to side, it would look like that. Okay, does that make sense? So I've got to get the paint into all of the crevices. And I love using our Klingon round brushes for this technique. And see how I just bring this black cherry right over into the Poseidon. And then we have our, we have, now we have three colors going on. We have black cherry, we have a purple, and then we have our beautiful greenish blue. Okay. I keep checking to see if there's any questions. I don't see anybody having a heart attack yet, so that's good. <laughs> uh, this color is our iron oxide. I'm using some of my older brushes this morning. Um, Sometimes when I start painting, um, well, as soon as I come near a piece of furniture, all of a sudden I have painting on my mind. I don't know if you're the same way, but that is how it happens. So um, the closest brushes that were um, within reach were the ones I grabbed. And before I knew it, I was pouring these gorgeous colors <clears throat> onto this tray and that was my inspiration for this morning um, yep 15 minutes beforehand I didn't even know I was going to be painting but yep as soon as I get into my workshop it's it's hard <laughs> my husband has a problem with that too he knows as soon as I hit my shop I am done i will be gone for hours and having fun painting and that's awesome more awesome for me than him probably right but hey and look what i'm creating again i take my brush Hi, Mary Beth. Yes, I am having fun. So I take my brush that has all of these rainbow of colors. And as you see, I, as I hardly have any paint on the bristles. But what I do is I just take that and just grab onto all of that texture. And then again, that mutes the um, design as well. So it's not so crazy in your face going for a ride again hold on the camera lady is crazy today there we go Oop. not too bad all right let's add a little bit more Poseidon again I am alternating my brushes but they are kind of um, they're pretty saturated right now with their paint So if you're just hopping on, yes, there are several different ways of blending and I do all of them. It kind of just depends which technique, what look I'm going for. And today it is, I'm gonna call this uh, my peacock inspired blending. Um, as I finish this drawer, then I will take a step back and you can kind of see the whole picture. So right now it might look a little or very crazy. But the inspiration, oh, it's going to be so pretty. I'm so excited. This color is Siren Song. Wish I could get you closer, but 
I am literally sitting on the ground and my tripod will not do that. Again, I bring the colors right up into the texture and it creates a whole new look. And I do want the top of the drawer to resemble. I don't want it to all of a sudden, you know, that's going to be a solid color. That wouldn't make any sense. So I do blend to the edges as well. Okay, I'm almost finished. I'm going to use some more black cherry. I love black cherry. Black cherry is an amazing color. Oh, and it's so gorgeous for fall can't really see this edge, so I'm going to have to play with that when the camera's off. Um, black cherry is a gorgeous, gorgeous color, especially for the fall. A friend of mine um, painted her front door with our one-hour enamel black cherry, and it it's it's like an amazing neutral i mean it, it's it's a very pretty dark literally black cherry color but you put it on um or i start blending with different colors and it's it's absolutely magical It's um, what I use quite often just to create a little bit of depth in my design. I use it with iron oxide quite often. I use it with our bronze metallic paints. I use it by itself. It's very, very pretty. All right, well, together we just did, just coming back on my other drawers here, just making sure there's no white spots. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back. You can see how it looks now. It's really pretty. so it doesn't look quite as crazy. That's kind of a good view there, huh? All right, so what do you guys think? Again, it might not be a good shot of my truck there, huh? It might not be your style. It might be, it might be a little adventurous for some people but the colors are thank you Catherine the colors are going to be absolutely amazing the where you see all the wood tone that has been painted or that has been primed with our wise out clear primer all of that is going to be painted <laughs> Great, Deborah. Um, all of the wood color that you see, that's going to be painted in our Wise Owl One Hour Enamel, and I'm going to use Poseidon. The reason that I'm doing that, first of all, is our One Hour Enamel has an extremely durable, um, quick to um, quick to dry, hard as nails um, coverage. And I'm already, um, this dresser is inspired by two nightstands that are already heading to this customer. So the Poseidon in the one hour enamel goes where all the wood trim is. And then you're going to see the accent of the color just kind of blending into it. I'm going to ha also be adding 
some of our metallics. I'm going to use Redesign with Prima's, um, which it's called Brush Champagne. That's going to be on the hardware. That's going to um, grab onto some of that texture. Yes, Catherine, you can mix one hour enamel with salt wash. You can mix it with chalk paint and salt wash. I mean, um, with one hour enamel. <clears throat> The one thing when you are mixing the salt wash with the one hour enamel, you want to mix it and make sure it is thoroughly mixed. Like mix it, mix it good. Make sure you don't see um, any of the little tiny blue crystals. Um, mix it good, okay? The next thing is you want to work quickly, but yes, you can absolutely use it for adding texture like I did, or you can use it um, in creating raised stencils, okay? They're, um, the sky is the limit, but with the one hour enamel, just work quicker because one hour enamel is what it is. It dries quickly and it um, is hard as nails. And then you do not have to top coat it. Okay, any other questions? All right, unless I missed any up here. Okay, all right, yeah, I'm just looking through the comments real quick. All right, well, happy Saturday. And I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna do this, <clears throat> this next drawer. <clears throat> wow, there goes my voice. Work on the next drawer which you saw works really quickly. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with the top two yet. That, sometimes I just wait, <laughs> okay? Sometimes I just let the uh, furniture talk to me, but I do also have to do the sides here. So I'm gonna work on the two sides and the one drawer remaining and um, step away and see what happens next. Okay, so you see I do have most of my plan. Again, this is going to um, have some redesign with Prima Peacocks on there. I'm gonna use Peacock Dream, and I'm going to be using Avian Sanctuary. And it's gonna be just, this is gonna be, this is like her beautiful accent piece that's gonna go with the nightstand. So she's excited, I'm excited, and, um, it's going to be fun, but she hasn't seen what I've done today. So, all right. Have a wonderful day, and I hope some of that was helpful. Um, if it was, please, um, you know, sprinkle this video to your friends. Maybe somebody wants to get inspired. Um, a little bit of inspiration once in a while is kind of a good thing. And you guys enjoy. Yes, um, Deborah, I do use salt wash for my raised stencils. Yep, sure do. Salt wash has a million uses. And you guys can find it on my website along with all of these gorgeous colors and products and way more. Okay, so my website is calliesredesigns.com and I'll throw that in the comments. You guys have a wonderful day. Happy Saturday. Enjoy your weekend.